Hey future data engineers, curious about what skills you need to learn to land your first job or maybe you're wondering which tools and technologies are worth focusing on. Today I'm going to break down a four month plan to take you from zero to job ready. I promise it's completely doable. Now why should you trust this plan? I've been in data engineering for more than four years, working in some of India and Canada's largest companies. I've analyzed more than 100 job descriptions, spoken with dozens of other data engineers and even leaned on advice from top career coaches to fine tune this plan for you. So what you're getting is research packed and field tested. Stick with me because I'm going to break down exactly what you need to do from learning SQL and Python in month one to building a professional portfolio by month four. Plus I've got some bonus tips on certifications, resources, and a strategy to showcase your skills to recruiters. Let's dive in. Before we start, if you want more data engineering tips and resources, do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. I post new videos every week. Month one, you'll need some solid database knowledge. SQL is your go-to for data manipulation. So focus on querying, manipulation, and some basic database design. DataCamp and Udemy have great courses if you're just starting out. Python is essential. Aim to master the basics, then dive into Python and NumPy for data manipulation. Again, DataCamp or Udemy's Python bootcamp will get you up to speed. With Linux, you don't have to be an expert here, but learn file system navigation and essential Linux commands. YouTube tutorials can cover this over a weekend. Quick tip for those aiming for big tech companies, consider also adding data structures and algorithms to your learning path. This is where things get exciting. Month 2 is packed with core concepts that make data engineering, well, data engineering. Start with key terms like data lake, data mart, data fabric, data mesh. You get the idea. A solid intro is designing data intensive applications. For data governance, brush up on data governance, security, ethics, especially if you're working with sensitive data. Apache Spark with Python. Spark is a game changer for handling big data. Start with Spark basics and move to PySpark. Check out DataCamp and Udemy for courses. Distributed systems. You need to understand the basics of Hadoop, Hive, and Pig. You don't need to master all of them, but it's essential to understand the role they play in distributed data systems. Cloud platforms, pick one of AWS, GCP, or Azure. The central to data engineering, DataCamp or Udemy will have excellent courses for each of these. Month three is all about advanced topics and specialization. Now we're really getting into the heart of data engineering. This month, you'll be focusing on tools that are crucial for job ready skills. The very first skill is orchestration with Apache Airflow. Learn to automate workflows using Airflow. It is key for managing complex data pipelines. Second is compute tools. Get familiar with Databricks or Snowflake. If you're working with AWS or GCP, look into equivalents such as Redshift or BigQuery. Containers, learn Docker and Kubernetes to manage data applications. Start with Udemy courses to understand how these tools streamline deployment. Four, CI/CD. Continuous integration and continuous deployment is very important in data engineering. You should start with understanding the basics of Jenkins and SonarQ. Streaming is a core skill, especially with Kafka. Udemy has some straightforward courses on this as well. ETL and ELT tools like DBT and Matillion will be crucial in structuring clean data before it's stored. Also understanding the medallion architecture for best practices is important. Month four is where you bring all these skills together with hands-on projects. Implement data projects on the cloud platform. Try various projects. I've mentioned the six projects that I did as a part of my portfolio. You can use these as inspiration. Next, it's very important to get certifications that are recognized by the industry in AWS, Databricks, and Airflow. I've mentioned some of the certifications I have done personally on the screen. Next, I think it's very important to pick a topic to specialize in. Maybe for you, it's AWS or maybe it's big data or data governance. Whatever topic you choose, make sure you go deeper into the topic, go through the documentation and really try to make more projects on the topic. Finally, it's very important to also document all your work. Showcase it on GitHub and include architecture diagrams using tools like diagram.net. Also post these on LinkedIn, make a list of companies you want to target and connect with people from those companies. If you want to know what data engineers do day to day, check out my video, what data engineers actually do. And if you want real time updates and insights, follow me on LinkedIn. You've got this four months from now, you'll be amazed how far you've come. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.